Hello friends, this is Roy from AC Renter. Welcome back to my channel. Those who are watching my video for the very first time, I welcome you also. I hope you all are healthy, safe and having a wonderful day. Many of my YouTube friends have said it is hard for them to follow my vector portrait speed art tutorials and they asked me to create a tutorial with real-time vector art so they can better understand it. So today we will do that. But before we start, let me share a question often asked on the internet with many answers. What size should the canvas or artboard be? I believe there is only one answer. With Illustrator you are going to draw a vector art. You know a vector art can be stretched in any direction without losing quality or becoming pixelated like raster art. Thus it is not important what size of the artboard you create. Rather. You create the artboard with the desired ratio such as 4 is to 3, 16 is to 9 or 4 is to 5. So without further ado, let's start. Now I will go to file, new and then I make the width 4000 pixel and height 3000 pixel just to maintain the ratio of 4 is to 3. It is going to be a single artboard. So this will be 1 and I find there are some bleed of 9 pixel which I do not need to uh, keep so I will remove the bleed and I will leave the rest as default and create the artboard. Now I will go to file place. You can see I made a custom shortcut key F11 for this. You can also create shortcut for any operations. Uh, then select the image. Keep the link unchecked and check the template feature and place it. By default the image is placed smaller than my artboard so I unlock the layer and press alt and shift key together and select the image and stretch it to fit my artboard. I like it this way you can leave as it was if you wish. Now I create my custom brushes for illustration especially for hair. So I will change the foreground color to black. And toggle it so that I get only stroke not the fill. Then I select the line tool and draw a straight horizontal line by pressing the shift key. I change the stroke value to 3 and zoom in a little. I think I'll go with 5 stroke value. Then I select with profile 1 from this drop down. The brush looks like this. Drag the line to the brush panel and pop up window appears. Select Art Brush. Now change the method to Tint and leave everything else as default and your first brush is ready. Now again select the line and change the Width Profile to Width Profile 4. The brush will look like this. Drag the line again to the brush panel, then select Art Brush and change the method to Tint and click OK. The second brush is ready. Now I will delete the line. For the rest of the drawing, I use the default Touch Calligraphic Brush and let me tell you, I use Wacom Pen Tablet to draw. If you need to know why do I use a brush and pen tablet instead of a mouse and pen tool, 
Let me know in the comment section. I will make another video for you to explain it. Here I start drawing the eye by selecting a touch calligraphic brush. Draw with patience and if not satisfied, press Ctrl Z to undo and do it again. Here I press X to toggle foreground and background color and I get feel without stroke. Press N to select the pencil tool and start drawing. I adjust the anchor points to make the line systematically curved. Again select the pencil tool and start drawing. And press X to toggle from stroke to fill. I use the ellipse tool to draw the pupil. Erase the extra with the erase tool. Change the stroke align to inside and select 3 pixel width. Again select the default calligraphic brush and start drawing. With the same process, I will draw another eye, nose, lips and entire outline with the touch calligraphic brush and sometime with the pencil tool. Let's speed up the process. You can see, due to pressure sensitivity of the pen tablet, I can draw a thin line and thick line together without changing the stroke value. Now let's draw the hair. By selecting the pencil tool, draw carefully with the edges of the hair. I will speed up the process once again.
Sometimes I do use pen tool to avoid overlapping the thin stroke that I drew like this time. Now I lock this layer and create another layer above it for fine hairs. I draw them by selecting the custom brushes that I made earlier. To draw the hair strings, eyebrows and eyelashes, I reduce the opacity to the brush to 20% and change the opacity as and when needed. Even I change the stroke size as needed. Sometimes I use thicker strokes and sometimes I go for thinner one. Now I lock this layer. Go back to the previous layer of outline, unlock it and select all. Go to object, expand appearance and then go to pathfinder panel and press merge. I think Today's video is long enough for one session, so I will come back next week and we will learn how to color and shade the vector art. So that's it. I hope this content helped you and if yes, ensure to give a like and be a part of this creative world by subscribing to the channel. Also ring the bell to get notified for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Till then, keep learning.